good morning class we are starting the last part of this chapter okay the objective for today is we will be able to identify structures of flower and their functions so in the previous few classes we have seen different parts of the plant right so today we are going to see uh, another part which is the flower okay we are going to study the parts of a flower okay and we are going to study the functions of a flower right before studying what the parts of a flower are let's understand what is the function of a flower okay matlab flower kaam kya karta hai right so a flower basically helps in reproduction of plants ओके फ्लावर प्लांट्स में रिप्रोडक्शन करने में मदद करता है नाउ व्हाट इज रिप्रोडक्शन यू हैव स्टडीड अबाउट दिस अ लिटिल इन द प्रीवियस क्लास राइट सो रिप्रोडक्शन इज अ प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच न्यू ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम देयर पेरेंट ऑर्गेनिजम्स ओके फॉर एग्जांपल्स हाउ ह्यूमंस गिव बर्थ टू बेबीज राइट एंड हेन गिव्स बर्थ टू चिकन राइट द बेसिकली इज न्यू ऑर्गेनिजम्स are being produced from parents right so similarly in plants also plants give birth to new plants right uh, from a old mango tree you get a new mango tree okay and how are plants able to reproduce with the help of a flower okay uh, now let's jump into what are the parts of a flower okay there are basically four parts of a flower we have petals we have sepal we have stem and we have pistil okay we have four parts of a flower let's understand one by one what are these parts of the flower and what are their functions okay so basically first we have petals uh, this is the bright colored part that attracts bees insects and birds okay so in flower you might have seen this is the most distinctive part okay फ्लावर आप देखोगे तो पेटल्स आपको सबसे ज्यादा नजर में आएंगे ओके दे आर वेरी ब्राइट कलर्ड ओके एंड दे अट्रैक्ट बीज इंसेक्ट एंड बर्ड्स ओके एंड द कलर्स ऑफ पेटल्स वेरी फ्रॉम प्लांट टू प्लांट ठीक है अलग अलग प्लांट्स में पेटल्स के कलर्स वगैरह भी डिफरेंट होते हैं डिफरेंट प्लांट्स यू कैन सी डिफरेंट फ्लावर्स राइट एंड फ्लावर्स आर डिफरेंट मेनली बिकॉज ऑफ देयर कलर्स ऑफ पेटल्स एंड शेप्स ऑफ देयर पेटल्स ओनली दिस इज ऑल अबाउट पेटल्स लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट व्हिच इज द सेपल ओके अब सेपल क्या है सेपल इज द ग्रीन कलर पार्ट बिलो द पेटल्स ओके मतलब पेटल्स के नीचे वाला जो ग्रीन हिस्सा है उसको हम बोलते हैं सेपल सो इन दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी दिस पार्ट इज कॉल्ड एज अ सेपल ओके एंड व्हाट आर देयर फंक्शंस दे प्रोटेक्ट द फ्लावर व्हेन इट इज अ बर्ड जब फ्लावर छोटा बर्ड रहता है ओके जब ये फ्लावर यंग रहता है सो दिस सेपल इज यूज्ड टू प्रोटेक्ट द फ्लावर ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द थर्ड पार्ट व्हिच इज द स्टेमन स्टेमन अभी क्या है सो स्टेमन इज द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन ऑफ अ फ्लावर ओके फ्लावर्स में देर इज मेल एंड फीमेल पार्ट्स ओके एंड स्टेमन इज कॉल्ड द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट Okay. In this diagram, if you ask me, what is a stamen? So as you can see, that this black bag-like structure and this stick is called a stamen. So this is a stamen. This is a stamen. This is a stamen. This is a stamen. This is a stamen, and this is a stamen. Now please remember, this is not a stamen. Okay. So if you are taking a more simple structure, a stamen would look like this. I have stamen ko alag kar liya. Okay. So a stamen basically consists of two parts. Okay. The first part is called as anther. Anther is the top part okay the sac like structure sac means bag like structure okay uh, which produces and stores pollen so it produces okay it manufactures and stores stores means collect karke rakhta hai okay ye banata hai collect karke rakhta hai kya cheez ko pollens ko so if you ask me what are pollens pollens are small dust like particles which are necessary to do reproduction okay uh, the second part of a stamen consists of the filament okay and this is a thin thread like tube which supports the anther chota patla sa tube jaisa hota hai jo upar ke anther ko support deta hai right let's move on to the last part of a flower and that is called as the pistil <coughs> we have the same drawing here and we know that these parts are called as stamen so what is a pistil so this central structure okay is called as a 
pistol. If you are taking a more easier diagram, so pistol would look something like this. Uh, this is the female reproductive organ of a flower. In similar ways how stamen was a male organ, right? So pistil is a female organ of the flower, okay? And it has three parts. The first is stigma. Pehla part is stigma. It is the topmost part of a pistil, okay? The second part is style, okay? It is a long tube that connects stigma to the ovary. So this is the long tube which connects stigma to the ovary, okay? It's called as style. And the last part is you have your ovary. Okay, this ball like structure is called as ovary. The ovary contains the ovules. Now, ovules, ke, ovules are also necessary cells which are used to do reproduction in plants. Okay, uh, also the ovary is the place where seed formation takes place. Okay, so basically, ovary may he plant ka seed banta hai. Okay, plant ka beach jo hota hai na. Wo ovary se hi ban ke hai. So summarizing what all the parts of a plant are, okay, uh, here is a label diagram. You have to draw this diagram. Okay, you have to draw this diagram. You have to draw this diagram. You have to draw parts diye hue. First, you have your sepal, okay, then you have your petals, right, the pink color structure. Then you have your stamen. Stamen ke under include the anther and filament. This is the anther and this is the filament right and lastly you have the pistil which consists of stigma the topmost part right the style okay this part and the ovary this oval shaped part okay once we are done now let's understand how plants reproduce okay plants reproduce kaise karte hai? Usko hum understand karte hai. so basically we know that flower helps in reproduction of plants. Okay, we have learned that flower reproduction may help. But how do we do it? Okay, so we will go step by step. Okay, uh, we know about anther, right? So, anther, which is a part of stamen, produces small particles called pollens, right? So, we have anther, which is a part of the stamen. So, these yellow colored part right so these yellow colored structures okay anthers they produce a small particle called pollen pollen bolke ek particle ye produce karta hai okay the second point is ovary which is a part of the pistil produces small particles called ovules so similarly on the other hand okay jo ovary hota hai so this part produces Particles called ovules. So, unke, uske andar ovules bol ke particles rehte hai. Now, when the pollen goes inside the pistil and meet the ovules, the ovules grow into a seed within a fruit. Iska matlab kya hai? Jo anther ke upar, you have pollens, right? So, if these pollens goes inside the stigma, okay, it reaches the ovules. From the anther, this pollen goes inside the stigma and through the style it reaches the ovary which is under your ovules. Hai. Okay? Now once the pollens and the ovules meet, okay, then the ovule becomes a seed. Jab anther ke upar ka pollen, okay, stigma ke under jake, ovary me ovules se milta hai. Fir ovule ek seed ban jata hai, thik hai? Aur uske around ek fruit covering a jati hai. This process is called as pollination. Is process ko kya bolte hai? Pollination bolte hai. And it can be done by the help of wind or insect. Okay? If you ask how the pollens are transferred from the anther, to the stigma it is through the help of either wind okay wind ke madad se pollen uh either se uthar jata hai or with the help of insects so that is why flowers attract insects uh, insects uh, when they fall on the flower it transfers the pollen from the anther to the stigma okay during this pollination only a flower is converted into a seed and a fruit right so let's watch 
this video which shows how a strawberry flower is converted into a strawberry fruit. Okay, coming back from the video, we just saw how a flower becomes a seed and a fruit, right? Uh, now let's ask the question, what is a fruit? Fruit hota kya hai? So fruits are juicy, pulpy, colored and aromatic structure that covers seeds, okay? Uh, as you can see in the diagram here, you have an avocado, okay? Avocado fruit aapke paas and the seed is this part, right? And the surrounding structure is called as the fruit okay now let's understand what is the purpose of a fruit fruit ka purpose kya hai fruit ka functions kya hai so fruits attract animals which consumes the fruit and throws the seed somewhere far from the parent plant iska matlab kya hai animals okay they eat the fruit and they throw the seed at a distance from the parent plant jo main parent plant hai usse door mein सीड को वो थ्रो करता है ओके देर फॉर न्यू प्लांट्स आर बॉर्न एट अ डिस्टेंस एंड नॉट जस्ट नियर द पेरेंट प्लांट्स बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वी फाइंड दैट ट्रीज ग्रो इन डिफरेंट एरियाज ओके एंड नॉट इन द सेम प्लेस यू कैन फाइंड एन एप्पल ट्री इन इंडिया ऑल्सो एंड यू कैन फाइंड एन एप्पल ट्री इन स्विटरलैंड ऑल्सो राइट हाउ दिस पॉसिबल बिकॉज एनिमल्स ईट द फ्रूट एंड थ्रो द सीड समवेयर एल्स एनिमल्स ऑल्सो इंक्लूड ह्यूमन्स ओके दिस इज the function of a fruit with this we are closing the chapter here is your individual work time the first is fill in the blanks the second is true and false if false you have to write the correct answer and the third is you have to write in your own words the first question is what are the male reproductive organ and female reproductive organ in a flower okay the second question is what is the function of a fruit write in your own words okay with this 
you have completed chapter number two of science okay thank you